This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Yo, listen, let me tell you something. I been reading articles about dog pool abuse going back to 2012. And the thing is, the SEC knew about the dog, pool, the dog pool abuse even before then. If you just do a little Google search on dog pool abuse, you'll see a lot of Bloomberg articles about the SEC catching these bad actors doing all kind of nefarious things in a dog pool. You see even other hedge funds complaining about all the nefarious things that they're doing in a dog pool. Every article that you read going back to like 2012, 2014, 2016, 2017, it's further evidence that they know exactly what these bad actors use the dog pools for. There's so many complaints about the bad actors using the dog pool to manipulate the price. And everybody knows the purpose of the dog pools was so the big dogs could make big trades between each other and not affect the price on the market. That was the initial purpose of the dog pools. The initial purpose of the dog pools was to allow the big dogs to make big trades between each other without it affecting the price in the market. But since its inception, what they have been doing is using the dog pool to control the price of any stock that they want. Whenever they want to push the price down, we all know what they do. They put all the buy orders in a dog pool and put the sell orders in a lit exchange. And when they want to push the price up, they do the exact opposite. They put all the sell orders in a dog pool and they put the buy orders on a lit exchange. The bottom line is this. The SEC was aware for years that these, that these bad actors are utilizing the dog pools to take advantage of retail investors and they make a few complaints about it but they sit on the sidelines and allow them to continue robbing retail investors and pension funds using these dog pools. And and the, the thing is, in 2008, the SEC was given the authority to shut down the dog pools whenever these people start abusing it. And the evidence of abuse of AMC, GME, and you know, not, not, not just the mem stocks, but they, they utilize the dog pools to control a lot of stocks, to control a lot of stocks. And the SEC is aware of it. The DTCC is aware of it. The CFTC is aware of it. And this isn't something new. This is something that has been going on for probably 20 years since the inception of the dog pool. They, they talked it into fruition as a way to, to protect retail investors from major price swings and then they figured out that they can use it to rob retail investors and pension funds every day. And they know that the SEC is going to stay silent about the abuse. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And tell me what you think about the SEC knowing about the dog pool, dog pool abuse for years, for years. And did they sit on the sideline and allow it to continue? Hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me. God bless.